predominantly, I assume that most of you are entrepreneurs. Uh, those of you who are not entrepreneurs also can raise your hand to, for me to understand what is the stat about. But otherwise, okay, uh, because of the Thai group, it is given or almost understood that uh, some of the hands have gone up. I have seen at the same time, predominantly, most of the hands are that of uh, entrepreneurs, I understand. Uh, and uh, in entrepreneurship, uh, if you really look at it, uh, particularly in the state of Kerala and majority across the country, we come across uh, many of the SME, small and medium establishments, or it is called SMB, small and medium businesses, or by the government's term, it is called MSME, micro, small and medium establishment. So, <clears throat> so I will try to hover my, my topics around this MSME or SME uh, uh, so that, you know, it will be more useful or uh, contemporary to the audience who are sitting in front of me. <clears throat> now, uh, the scenario for the SMEs is, is not that uh, very great. Uh, I have uh, personally ran close to about uh, four SME companies. This is my fifth uh, organization called Mentor Guru. Uh, four SME organizations and I really understand the challenges, the difficulties, the pain, the uncertainties of uh, business, particularly that of the SME business. Predominantly, what we come across is the, the challenges related to finance management, cash management, etc. And a time like this in COVID times, that is predominantly, that is also going to be the most uh, dominant worry that uh, every SME businessman here has. Just to give a perspective, I am not here to do any criticism, neither am I trying to say what is right or wrong. But if you really look at it, uh, the SME business scenario, the MSME scenario, uh, has not has not been flourishing as it could have uh, uh, from almost about 2016 when the demonetization came it completely mopped up the cash from the market and uh, it uh, it pushed the people to go into through bank and online and rest of the businesses etc or number to say they call white business in, because in india there are two types of business people always used to call black and white white business and transactions through bank and as much as possible, online uh, payment transactions, etc. So, uh, without going into the merits and demerits of that, one thing that is clearly understood and experienced by most of the SME businessmen is the challenges of the cash going away in the business. Okay. See, if you really look from historical perspective, from time immemorial, the businesses in India, the businesses across here has been based on cash based on based on those level of possibilities and suddenly one stroke of a pen on november 2016 it says that okay this is not there so i'm sure this must have been a major major cultural shock and the difficulties thereof being experienced by the smep then there came uh, immediately that is uh, by 2017 that is i think it is july 2017 uh, gst came in fact gst was something like opening up the economy making a level playing field for people from all those perspectives, uh, GST had uh, played the role. But again, you know, you are you are actually doing businesses VAT, that value added tax, before which it was called sales tax, and sales tax was of two kinds: the central sales tax and the state sales tax. Then it came to VAT. Then it came to GST. The VAT components of the businesses, the VAT component, the percentage of the VAT of the businesses were lesser. So, the customer, it is it was within the affordable range of the customer. Suddenly, but when the GST came into being, because GST has taken into account the many other input taxing forms, okay, the GST percentages went up. While the GST percentages went up, we have not seen the corresponding decrease in the pricings of the products and services. So that what happened is so somebody was buying a product or a service at 100 rupees, he was paying, let's say, 4, four or 5 percent uh, uh, VAT. And suddenly now it has become 100 rupees again, but the percentage went up to 12 percent, 18 percent, and 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 the like. So that has really hit again businesses because customer, the end user customer, really end up in spending this money. So they must have reduced their purchases, and that also and also the the reporting, the reconciliation, and the continuous changes that was happening in the GST businesses, etc., also had been quite uh, troublesome to understand, to follow, to report, to upload. Lots of difficulties had been faced by the people. And people in Kerala thereafter underwent uh, three major uh, natural calamities. The first was a huge flood. I mean, I'm not going to explain again. You know, it was such a bad scene. Okay. And we thought everything is over. The next year again it came. May not be with the same level of ferocity and intensity, but it was there in the next year again. 
and then the year goes away we think that okay we are trying to have a sigh of relief and then this pandemic okay had been declared on the i believe on the 13th of march and before by december itself we have known that there is something like a virus which has emanated out of china it is going its rounds then january happened we thought uh, things are other states and countries started getting it by 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 feb we have seen that many number of countries have uh, deaths registered and number of infected people had gone up and today all of us know the scenario i'm not getting into those numbers all of us are aware of the numbers we are you are seeing you are watching you are reading and you are getting the forwards of those numbers as far well. but the fact of it is all this had a uh, one after the other so if i look at 2016 and if it is 2020 in the last four years of time the sme businesses has really gone through the tumultuousness of the challenges okay the, the the it could be it could be demonetization it could be uh, implementation of uh, gst it could be the flood and you were close for two to three months at many places there after the covid there after another flood and now the covid <clears throat> so i think uh, 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 we uh, one sme guy will can say i don't envy your position any longer you must have been doing very successful businesses but i don't envy a position any longer that is something that people must have been talk to each other so now this being the scenario okay you are most of you are confined to home uh, lots of you in business are not allowed to start your businesses those businesses only in the essential essential sector are allowed to open and there are many many restrictions on doing the businesses in terms of the time in terms of the in terms of the in terms of the clientele in terms of the your procurement etc there had been many many restrictions so that is one part of it but but the biggest challenge that i think uh, all of us must be facing is uh, the financial challenges how do we pay the salary comes as a first okay how do we pay back our loans is going to be second it could be loan it could be od it could be it could be it could be specific high interest loans taken from private organizations etc etc so most of us in the sme must be really worried as to how you can manage money now the experts comes on the screen this is not the first webinar you are watching i am very sure many people uh, many experts many organizations many industry bodies uh, many management forums etc has been coming on alive telling you what to do so i also have been hearing many people telling as to what to do and in everywhere one thing which has actually been spoken as a top priority is preserve the cash the challenge that smb when you when you are telling a smb businessman please preserve your cash the smb guy retort saying that what cash and where is the cash okay so when most of the smbs are having a sort of a hand to mouth existence normally assisted by the by the od normally assisted by the loans that you take from outside normally assisted by the loans that you take from sharks etc okay and now the possibilities of all that is gone and you have a huge liability to pay and now uh, experts come and tell you please preserve the cash so sme ask what cash that is a first challenge okay then many other advices come that you know you do customer relationship you do you do product innovation you do process innovation you do insight and all those things are coming but some of which could be relevant some of which uh, may not be as uh, relevant for an sme organization or organizations of our like okay now if you are uh, if you are actually uh, looking at your business i have in fact you know some of my menti companies you know in network one particular company they have, they have diligently uh, they have uh, uh, been doing their meetings with the staff some of them to what extent they can work out a form that 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 possibilities are being be, being explored and being done they have the meetings in the morning they have meetings in the evening they are being given exercises to find that okay which is please classify your customer classify your customer based on mvc category most valuable customer category classify your customer based on key account category classify your customer on transactions basis classify classify as classify your customer on profitability basis so these exercises are being given to the sales department marketing department on on process people or like service people they have been told what are all the service uh, service uh, processes that we can actually uh, innovate upon what are things that we can take it away what are things that the things that can can you add and these are being discussed so some of the organizations my mentee organizations are diligently working 
Some of them are not working. They are occasionally chatting each other and doing it. Some of them, uh, the, to the extent possible, try to come alive in, in terms of uh, talking to people and getting things done. But it varies. So I'm not very sure whether all the organizations in the MSME sector were exactly similar to what they have been doing business at the shop front or at the office front are doing the same level of business sitting at home. So there is some level of relaxation. There is some level of uh, helplessness that you know you're forced to you're, you're forced to procrastinate, and also the biggest worry and also the ch the challenge that you face is when are all these going to end? Will you find an end? And we have no answers. So from time to time, the locked ins are improved upon, extended upon, told not to go about, told to, to, to take care of. And in every communication that whether you do it in uh, mail or WhatsApp or uh, any other thing, you say, uh, stay safe, stay safe. That, that, is a, that is a message being sent across. Okay. And that being the case, what are all the things that you can do? Now, this is where our, our subject team of what do you do or what do you do now to, to come upon your post code. Now, I, I'm going to say something which probably some of you may not appreciate. I have actually made it as a, a sort of a communication and uh, posted it on my LinkedIn as well as uh, uh, as well as on, on the WhatsApp. Some people have read it. Many comments had come upon. So if you really look at it. Now, this is an advice which uh, I am making it knowing fully well that it is not an appropriate advice a person or a mentor can give. But just look at this. I'm just going by an example. I'm just going by my own experience on that. So that, you know, at least you know, when, when I use my experience to tell you as to what happened, I think uh, probably that is when, you know, somebody says, been there and done that. He has undergone the pain of doing that. And that is exactly what I'm trying to face before you. I was uh, running this company, which, is a, which was doing very well in the beginning. Uh, it was we were in the system integration, networking and software and things like that in IT headquartered in Cochin, branches across the state, doing well, okay. But you know, as time went by, uh, products got commoditized, the softwares got commoditized, the services got commoditized, the margins went away on that, the cost of doing business is shot up like anything, uh, uh, particularly IT, salary, salary, salary structure, etc. was much higher than the, the, the local one, so the norm, normal other ones. And I had uh, started feeling the pinch of uh, 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 cash challenges, uh, finance challenges, went to the bank, submitted uh, proposals, got the loans, but getting the loan is a trap. You only, your ODs only go up. I have, I'm made to see a SME organization who had started with X amount of OD and coming, da coming down on that. It's always 2X and 3X and 4X and 5X for which you need to organize your collaterals, you know, your landed properties, etc. In case you don't have, you don't get those things. And in such a situation, I met uh, my uh, somebody who is both uh, my guru as well as my uh, father figure. So he he came and he met me. He looked around. He talked to me some very leading questions. He, he had taken some numbers, all these things, and he told me, "Yes, sir. I think time has come for you to close your business." I was aghast. This is what I know. This is what I have been doing. I am already about twelve to fifteen years into it. I cannot go anywhere. Everybody identifies me by my company and my product and my, my, my organization. Uh, the, the, even my professional uh, entanglements and my, my social entanglement has a large uh, factoring of the company and the, organization, uh, the company that I have. And here a person was telling me, I said, looking at all these things, I think it is time you close down your company. Now you will ask, you will, you will want to know as to whether, whether if at all, did I close down the company? And like all of you there, and like many of you who will be told this very, what you call, very, very uncomfortable question. Okay. I heard this. I said, yes, sir. I will look at it. I'll see whether I can turn this around in this manner and that manner. He looked at me and he said, okay, and he went away. Okay. I didn't close down the business. My liabilities became threefold in three years. My loans became much higher. My cash flow management challenges only increased. Uh, my, my debts only increased. My, my, my vendors only became much more tougher. All this has happened. So that is what actually led to. Now, then 
uh, at that point in time, if I look back and said that, okay, this professor, my father figure who has told me to close down this business, had it closed down, my liabilities would have been lesser, my loans would have been lesser, my, my payouts would have been lesser, and may I could have managed maybe with some pains and with, with a certain outside thing I could have managed. I did not do. So I am actually, again, placing this before you. You need to really look at your business, my dear friends, and see whether your business is, you know, runnable or in Hindi, colloquial Hindi, chalayable. Whether it can chalana sakta hai kya? Ye business aap do kar rahe hai. This business that you're doing, can you continue with this business is a big question that you have to see. And I'm sure it doesn't require very high lenses of uh, your high lenses of your consulting or high lenses of your analytical to see whether, okay, whether you know you can run with this, whether you can close with this. Because on the asset side and the liabilities and the net worth, etc., you yourself will know whether this is actually runnable. At the same time, you will also see that you know if your close is down, where will I go? What can I do? No, I, I have my family, I have my employees, I have, I have to, I have my loans, I have my liabilities, I have my, I have my continuation. I am only 40, I am only 45, I have another 20, 30 years to live. Do what you do. But now, here is what uh, I would like to face. In case you close down, you think of close down. I am not saying that you close down and you'll be jobless or you'll be, or you'll be professionless. This is where you can use this COVID times to realize or to understand or to come to know. What are all the businesses that we can look at related to your business or unrelated to your business? Okay, whether you can start up something new which is not related to your business, whether you can start up something which is unrelated, unrelated to your business that you can see and see how it can be done. And when you come into that mode, you know, this is where, you know, if you really look at it, a, a SME entrepreneur, a SME CEO entrepreneur is somebody like uh, who is like Abhimanyu in the Chakra view. Okay, it is said in Mahabharata that uh, Abhimanyu knew how to get into the chakra view, but he did not know how to get out of the chakra view, and finally he died in the chakra view. Okay, so typically, if you look at it, business transaction and that to trouble the business transaction by itself is a chakra view. Please understand, trouble the business transaction of these times, if you really look at it, by itself is a chakra view. Now, since you are into the transactions, since you are completely into, into the business, you don't get to see a visionary view of it or a 2,000 feet view of it or a 20,000 feet view of it saying that, where am I? In comparison with my competition, in comparison with my marketplace, in comparison with my industry place, in comparison with the GDP of the country, in comparison with the growth that my, my trade and my technology registers, where am I? Many often we miss that point because you're so much into this business that you miss out those visions, those ways, and okay, and that is that is what I would like you to request. This is the time, my dear friends. This COVID time. Sometimes you may be simply sitting down and procrastinating. Sometimes you may be really looking at your numbers and getting worried, and sometimes you may be getting really stressed that when is this going to end so that I can go and start doing my work and start making some money, etc. In your mind, but also you can productively use, use this time to get into fresher thinking. Not the thinking that anybody does as part of the chakra view, but just getting out of the box and looking at your business and looking at the, pos the possibilities, post-COVID possibilities, and saying that whether I can look at a new business or where I can look at a new business model in the business that I'm running and how do I go forward with that. So this is something that uh, you, you need to actually bear in mind. I will give you some examples later, but what I'm going to do now, okay, what I'm going to do now is to place before you some, some of the terms and for you to understand, okay. Now, I would like to place this one and a half hour place the, to me by, by about uh, doing a, an hour of uh, monologue that I do with you and uh, maybe, the, the, maybe the, 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 the last session, one third of the session that is 30 minutes, I would like to answer your questions and I also join you in thinking aloud or deliberating with you as to what are all the possibilities that we can have in the business that we do. Okay. So please almost we are into the, into the, into the half an hour, into one third is the end of the one third. The next one third, I would like to tell before you something now and post that we will try to come out and think aloud and think, discuss and deliberate as to what are all the things during which time I'll start by giving you some examples as well.
okay the the so i am not saying that you close on the business but i am saying that you look at your business afresh but if you think that your business does not have a future there is nothing wrong in closing on your business and starting afresh all over again okay there is there is no problem on that okay now what i'm going to tell you my friends is some some interesting observations okay now we are hearing some newer words during the covid times now one such word is called new normal naya normal pudhiya normal new normals so what were the old normals when you say the new normals you will know correspondingly you will know what is the old normal okay so for example when people used to meet okay what do they do they shake hands when maybe intimate they kiss on the cheeks maybe in some other culture they embrace each other so there are many ways whenever people come together okay there is a there is a very close affinity of you almost going going and joining together as one mass itself do you have you do you see that happening during covid times so i am placing before you this okay this is what is this this is namaste so namaste is a new new normal so now we have to see whether post covid times also the greetings will get shifted from shaking hands from kissing cheeks from embracing etc into a typical you know the internet we taking i mean i have been seeing a lot of posting saying that the namaste and namaskar came from india so it, the ownership we we need the ownership take the ownership but the fact is it's, it's a decent thing namaste is a new normal of people greeting each other irrespective of their sex and the gender okay namaste is a new new normal we have to see how long will namaste stay as a normal or will it will it continue or will there be mix of or intimacy plus this thing? now i have i i have a, if you really look at it in the, in the covid covid is actually a coronavirus okay it's a coronavirus this is 19 that is what is covid uh there had been there had been similar coronavirus attacks in the past the sars which started in hong kong 20 years back is a coronavirus issue the middle east respiratory syndrome that happened in the middle east called mers is another corona related issue okay now 20 years back people people were told that it is a corona it is a respiratory problem so from your breath and from your mouth etc only it spreads so later to that many times i had been to hong kong i had been to singapore i had been to china many times southern china as well as beijing etc and and i had seen international travelers coming we used to see some of those people continuously using the mask okay so there are there are people who have been using mask for 10 years because they they have seen that you know the corona virus covid uh, the, the sars had created ha havoc with them so there are many places many countries many people where mask is being used in india masks were seldom used we were seldom using mask so now don't you think that mask is going to be another new normal between people so you wouldn't be surprised that in 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 railway stations in bus stands in 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 shops in establishments etc i remember once you know i was with a good friend of mine in singapore we were actually standing in a point of sale to, we went to a we went to a convenience store we bought the item and uh, we were standing in to get the point of sale device to get our billing done so my friend it was probably it must have been about 15 16 years back my friend selva kumar actually recently passed away uh, rest in peace uh, he did a big sneeze standing in there so i was standing beside him and in front of him stood a chinese lady and then lady created a ruckus it's about 15 16 years back the lady created a ruckus for him having done that without covering his face or without using mask and she so because at that point in time in taiwan in singapore and hong kong in the many parts of china it was important that people wear the mask and if you have anything like this you cover your mouth okay in india we have been sneezing we have been coughing we have been doing everything without with absolute immunity impunity we were never we were never covering even with the hand we were not using kerchiefs we were never using clothes and towels etc we have been doing it with impunity but today you will see masks are going to be used whether it is a medical mask whether it is a surgical mask whether it is a uh, cloth mask whatever type of mask that you use using the mask will actually become a new normal now uh, the sort of 
communication that one get related to COVID is that it is going to be here for some time. It can't be, we can't say that by May it is over or June it is over or July it is over or September it is over. No, nobody can actually really say. The only thing where people can say is either we must have a, a vaccine, which is far away, which is at least about a year away from this, which is a, which is a, which is a vaccine which can prevent it or uh, something close to 67% because the, the reproducibility of uh, COVID is, uh, uh, that is called R0, is 3, between 2 and 4, 3. That means 67% of the world population has to go through the COVID for we to get the herd immunity or the community immunity. Okay, If that has to come through or if a vaccine has to come through to give us the prevention or from the prevention from the COVID, it may take, it take some time. Mask is here to stay. So uh, quite a corollary to this, I was actually seeing uh, a posting, a post done by a Rotarian from Tirupur. Now, you know, Tirupur has been a hoistry, 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 hoistry town of India. The, the inner garments, the Benins, the t-shirts, all those things had been manufactured there. But over the last five, six years, six and almost about 10 years, Tirupur business has come down. It became a polluted city. Uh, they, 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 they were not able to get the advantage of the cost, etc. Other countries like Bangladesh and Sri Lanka and Maldives and Philippines, etc. thrived better than uh, uh, Tirupur. And many businesses in Tirupur were not doing well. Now, I recently saw this uh, posting from a rotary friend of mine. He was wearing a, 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 a dress which is used to buy, which we normally see being used by hospital people, okay, with the mask around. And that, and that post said, sir, this will, the whole thing, including the mask, will cost you 192 rupees. Okay, I can give you in one piece, I can give you in five piece, I can give you a hundred piece. What you can do is you can, you, you can even send me an order by post, I can courier it, I will charge you courier extra. Now, just look at this, this person for whom COVID is a business proposition. I must, uh, I must uh, say that, okay, what did he do? He started manufacturing the dresses and the mask meant for COVID. So it is, it, 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 it is preventive in nature. It completely covers your body. All that is happening. So he had gone into business. There is, yesterday, yesterday or day before, we, yesterday we were listening to our friend uh, uh, Harish Bujur. He was selling the same thing that he is working with uh, many, many of the people located in, uh, located in uh, Tirupur in manufacturing dresses and uh, manufacturing dresses as well as uh, masks, etc. for preventing or for, for combating the coronavirus. So mask is a uh, uh, new normal. Okay. Another new normal, most of you now do. What is this? This is called uh, work from home or it is called remote work. Remote work is a new normal. Places like Kerala, India, etc. This has not been that very high. And if, even if there was remote work, which was, which was engaged by Predominantly MNC organization or top level IT organizations. Okay, we have we have uh, remote uh, work happening in, in IBM, in 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 Google, in their in their India development centers and many places. Not only here at May, at all over the world. In fact, uh, in 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 developed economies uh, in the Western Europe as well as in America, a good percentage of the people actually work at work based at home. Now, when they work based at home. They have the advantages of not traveling, taking care of that. They have the advantages of being at home. Maybe if some certain, certain part of the home could be looked after. And they, 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 at the same time, they are covered and they're connected so that they are part of the group and they're delivering the work. Okay. At the, at the office front, they don't have to worry about the, the workstation. They don't have to worry about uh, transportation. They don't have to worry about the food. They don't have to worry about sending them back. All those things that they can take care. So work, work from home has been happening for quite some time. In many of those, now, I, I understand. In fact, I was actually reading somewhere, IBM has about 100,000 people in the country, and only 30, only 60, 60,000 60, people are working from the office, or that is 30 to 40,000 people, as it is work out of home or work from home. So, work from home is going to be a new normal. This is called remote work, working from not from office, anywhere outside, sitting at your in the comforts of your drawing room or your study room or your, your, your bedroom or whatever, you're actually doing the work and you're connected and you're able to do it. So work from home is going to be a new normal, not only for the IT business, but many of the services business and uh, including some of those brick and mortar business. Okay, that means the physical business also, some of them will actually can effectively use the work from home. So that is something, a, another new normal. It has been there in developed nations. It is there in economy like Kerala and South India, etc. It is not going to be a new normal. 
Now, in this, while since I am saying about work from home, I also want to touch upon another thing called this is called gig economy. Gig economy. You must be. You must have heard of it. You can also Google it later to find out what is gig economy. Gig economy is that where where people do their people work based on platform. Okay, they may not be working from remote. They may be working from home. They may not be the employee of the company. Okay, they are facilitated by the the employer and the employee or the developer as well as the company where brought together by a platform. These platforms existed earlier called Elance. Upwork, etc. These platforms even today exist. What do they do? They bring a developer, they bring a, 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 a intellectual a, 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 a cerebral power worker, and they bring the company together. And within the premises, the work is set up. And so, what happens? He may not be a permanent employee of the company. Okay, he may be working on a project, or he may be working for an outcome. And maybe he may go thereafter. He may go and he may take up another work based on Upwork or Elance or similar thing, and he may do that. Okay, so he is not typically employee. So there are certain element of you know employability, etc., or the or the or the advantages related to employability, etc., going away as far as employees are concerned. But it has a major advantage as far as employees are concerned. They can they can get their work done. And the responsibility can be given, and they can be project managed, and this is that. So gig economy. Gig economy is where now there are some advantages of the gig economy. Suppose let's say I am a I am a I am a intellectual intellectual or or a, or a cerebral worker or I am a project uh, IT project worker. Okay, I am not part of a company. I am neither working in IBM nor working in Cognizant nor in TCS nor anywhere. I have these competencies. Okay, my competencies is that I am good at let's say uh, let's say a particular uh, 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 technology. Now. I have competencies in technology. Many people out there require this competency, so they seek these competencies through the platform. So get connected to me. Okay, I do the work parallelly. Parallelly, I can also do the work for another company, another one for, for the, based on the same. So I may be working for three companies at the same time, or I may be working for three months. Next three months, I may not be working. I may take a sabbatical holidays and go for travel. i may not be wanting to work so if you really look at it from a millennials perspective millennial and gen z perspective okay you will realize that people who want to do work that they, they enjoy doing for which their competencies in they don't want to be completely tied up to the organizations and tied up to the projects they don't want to be working under uh, very ferocious project managers and project leaders they would like to make their competencies available and place it using a platform it is delivered and it is used and he is paid up and then he takes care of it so this gig economy will get a very high boost by the work from home the culturally people when they started working from home culturally they may not be wanting to be an employee of the particular organization they can get into typically slowly move into the gig economy culture is that what i am actually trying to trying to impress upon okay now the next new normal which is happening across all of us sudden is what is that it is e learning online learning it is e learning and e learning online examinations and online certifications okay e learning okay now how do we discussing about this just look at this just look at this across okay schools colleges okay even organizations or training pay training management development programs management education program skill development program or uh, training at large all these are now done through e learning and e learning is going to be going to be a new normal now was it completely new normal no it was there you know the whole universities of the world like the mits and uh, harvards and uh, stanfords etc they had started this coursera and many similar uh, uh, udemy and many similar platforms are available where they are doing this uh, e learning already that already it is existing for 6 uh, 7 years but for a, for a, for a culture like us for having in indian culture in kerala culture etc we have been we we have not been doing this our our, our students went to the schools and colleges and learned there okay our our executives went to a classrooms and learned there okay or a professional college they went to professional college and learned there now that slowly that is e learning now i was just saying you know just my son actually is doing brain research Uh, in 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 Caltech, California, that is a uh, Pasadena, that is in Los Angeles. He is actually a Singapore scholar, Singapore government scholar. He is funded by him. So Singapore government asked him to come back because uh, the COVID uh, explosion in the USA had been very high. 
So something close to about a month back, not a month, about uh, 25 days back. He flew back to Singapore. He flew back to Singapore is all right, but he's online working. He's online studying. The complete learning is happening. He's still spending close to about four to six hours a day doing online. But he also tells me that, yes, I cannot do my wet lab research online. That can only be done in the laboratory. For the rest of everything, I can actually learn. Now, in this, not only learning happens, the examination can happen. The certification can happen. Everything is possible, and there are some. Just I was one of my mentee companies. Called, companies they have they they are, they do the tutorials for uh, uh, Institute of Management Accountants program in US. That is New Jersey program, and the complete certification actually is done by a prometric center. So the examination and certificate is done by prometric center. Thereafter, they are given the certificate. So as it is, e-learning has been there, but e-learning is going to be consolidated even in schools, colleges, and many other things. So e-learning is an opportunity here, I say. And speaking about it, in the last, in the last, uh, in the last uh, three, four days, I must have been contacted by at least uh, three, four people telling, sir, I have this facility available. Can I, can I talk to organizations telling that I can actually give this facility for e-learning, e-classes, etc. I said that there are many possibilities. So I have, in fact, been directing them to both government as well as other, other, other like Kerala Startup Mission sort of organization to see that they can develop this technology or if the technology already is available to them, they can make it available to them for, the, for them to use. So e-learning is another new normal, which has been there, but which is getting consolidated. Now, another thing that you look at this, what is it? This is called home delivery. Okay, delivering from the home. Okay, now uh, I, I hope uh, you are able to see this or is it to Kapulta, I don't know. Uh, this is home delivery. Now, home delivery is uh, something which has been there again, but at the same time, home delivery was predominantly related to the e-commerce companies which has been delivering at home. Now, there's a, there's a major challenge that we are actually coming across which is related to not being together. So when that happens, you cannot crowd up uh, shops and you cannot crowd up establishments. You can place your orders and somebody has to deliver home. It's a, it's a typical physical work delivering at home and earlier we used to be you we used to go to the shops and we used to shop it there and come now shops can restaurants can hotels can or any such established can 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 do the home delivery so this is something again going to be consolidated this is again something which is going to be another opportunity for business now you are all aware of the the challenges that we are facing and that we, we call this social distancing i do not know whether you are reading it rightly so this is called social distancing okay so social distancing is has come into stay now we really do not know we really do not know how many more we really do not know how many more months and how many more quarters of the of the year and how many more months that we have to actually live like what we are doing and when you look at this, when you look at social distancing, you will realize that so many places we may have to actually, we may have to actually undergo the social distancing. About three weeks, of course, in Kerala, now beverages corporation has closed up. So alcohol is not going to, not being sold. But I was surprised that this, uh, seeing the discipline of uh, people who have been going to the beverage corporation shops, standing in that one meter distance, at long lines, okay, waiting for his turn to come and going and doing it. So for people who was who was wanting that, they were undertaking the social distancing. Now, when you suppose there's a post-COVID time, when you want to go back to your office, okay, what will happen? Your your tables are going to be clustered together. Your conference centers are going to be clustered together. Either table centers are going to be kept together so that you are so close to yourself, intimate speaking, or there will be both health restrictions as well as governmental restrictions as well as infrastructural restrictions saying that, look boss, please follow social distancing because we have not mastered this COVID and we really don't know whether there is any other COVID in the anvil. So this is again, social distance is going to be another thing that all of us will follow at offices, at shops, at functions. You know? Just see, you know, marriages are either postponed or it is not happening. Okay, get together is not happening. Birthday celebrations are not happening. Anniversaries are not happening. Clubs are not meeting. All those things. So, social, if it is going to happen, there will be very clear cut instructions for you to maintain distances between one single, single people between individuals. So, social distancing is going to be a new normal 
whether we will follow it maybe two years later, I can't say. But at this, at least in the coming 12 to 18 months time, social distance is going to be a, a normal or a new normal that we may have to go through. Now, while I, while I speak about the new normals, I also know that I must have shown you some of them which, which, on which people may go back to. May people may not be like, you know, you said uh, you may be shaking hand, maybe after one year, one and a half year, when things are very clean, you may be shaking hand again. But there is also another side of look at it. Now, it is said, if you have a habit of doing certain things, okay, and without breaking, if you do it, you'll continuously doing it, your body clock, your body, your, your mind, etc. is attuned to that and you'll do it. Maybe like getting up in the morning and going for a walk or doing yoga or doing your prayers by so and so time. Or, or similar thing, you know, these are all things which your body and body clock and your, your physiologically, mentally, you're attuned to. Okay. Now, it is also said that anything that you do, 21 days, which, become a, which can become a habit for you. This can be your, your habit and so that you can continue on that. So when we are actually forming the habit of doing Namaste and we are not shaking hands, when we are, when we are not getting intimate and embracing, etc., and if you're, go, if you're not going to do for another 12 months and 18 months, probably there is a reason that Namaste will be here to stay. So similar to that, some of those new normals on which they may be a going back and some of those new normals, if it is continued for a longer duration of time here, then we will see that they are going to, they are going to stay. Okay. So social distancing is going to be a very, very clear uh, uh, new normal that we may have to fathom and we may also have to see whether there are possibilities. Okay. Next is what you call telemedicine. Okay. Telemedicine. Okay. Now, uh, as I was telling about this in one of those KMA meetings uh, uh, yesterday evening, day before yesterday evening, and somebody said, no, no, no. Hospitals do not want the telemedicine to start, particularly the private corporate hospitals may not be wanting the telemedicine to be there because they want patients to flock or come to their establishment. But you will see the most of the primary level of things. Okay. Telemedicine will be very useful. There are there are protocol-based telemedicine solutions available. Protocol-based, not that you know the Skype-based or a Zoom-based or a one-on-one -on -one phone-based or a teleconference-based. Protocol-based. If it is stroke, if it is heart, if it is diabetes, protocol-based telemedicine solutions are available. And you can be at your home or you can be at a clinic or can you can be at a common place. You don't have to travel all the distance to your hospital. Your doctor can go through that. He can prescribe those diagnostics. He can prescribe those testing. Based on that, he can say you continue like this. Particularly, this long-term chronological diseases management, etc., can actually be done by telemedicine. And to, to some extent, even your, your your secondary level of even um, medicine therapy and management can actually be done on telemedicine. Okay, but as somebody was saying, some when the hospitals, etc., they restart, they, they, re they reopen. They want the patients to come. But telemedicine as a solution, protocol-based telemedicine, telemedicine is here to stay. And uh, we will see a lot of developments happening on the tele telemedicine side in, in time to come. Going forward, we have already said e-learning. Another one that I would like to show is a teleconferencing. Okay. Today, board meetings are happening. This webinar is a classical example. Okay. We are actually having a seminar on, you know, I am sitting here at my house. Everyone up here sitting in the comforts of your own home, but we are all connected. Whatever I'm speaking is actually you're hearing and, and you're imbibing that. So this is a typical case of the tele, tele, tele seminar, webinar, we call it. The teleconferencing, webinars and, and web related demonstrations, web related exhibitions, all that can happen. That means now by wire, a lot of traveling can come down. And you also will realize that international traveling is going to be going to have a lot of restrictions at least for about a year or so. And unless and until the whole world realizes that the COVID had been, uh, COVID had been basically surmounted or mastered or they have been, they, for which there are solutions available, that the level of international travel may not happen. Now, when the level of international travel may not happen, when we are using these technologies to conduct our affairs, they may say, why do I travel? I can okay, travel. We'll do. You you want to go for a you want to go for an excursion. You want to go for a tourism travel. You want to go and stay there, experience a place, or you want to stay live in some other country and see how things are. That's okay. But that all those things will happen much later. But then otherwise, if you want to conduct your affairs, if you want to hold your board meetings, if you want to do a trainings, if you want to do your your brainstormings, if you want to if you want to uh, do your reviews, ideally teleconferencing webinars. 
and and Zoom and Microsoft Team, etc. Based solutions are available. There's so many of them creating solutions cheaper. Solutions are available in the open software places so that you can actually use these solutions. Okay, and conduct things. So the, just imagine, you know, yesterday I was actually making a post in which just imagine in the last 20 days. How much of your expenses has come down, my dear friends? Okay, there is no petrol expenses, there is no miscellany expenses, there is no huge party expenses, there is no restaurant expenses, there is no travel expenses, there is no. No, you are not wearing your 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 signature clothes. Okay, you so many things. You are actually been no. What is happening? You you are actually living a minimalist life, and you now realize that actually you can you can live a minimalist life. Still, you are not losing out anything. You are doing your uh, tele teleconferencing. You are doing your webinaring. You are doing a Zoom meeting. You are doing your talking. You are doing your research. You are doing your you are doing your uh, business modeling. All that you are doing may not be to the hundred percent efficiency extent, but you are able to do. But still, you have been able to do it at the cost minimal cost. So the minimalistic living also is possible, and you you will realize that do I need to travel for this meeting? There is a board meeting scheduled for me at Trichur. Can I tell them? Can we do the board meeting? On on Zoom platform or a similar platform, okay, so that I don't have to travel. I am at the comfort of my home. You are at the comfort of your home, but we can transact the business. All the details can be actually back and forth sent, and we can decide. Data based, science based, scientific decisions can be taken in this level of meeting. So, this level of teleconferences and solutions infrastructure for that actually is going to be very high. Now, last uh, last two e governance. You must have seen e governance. Okay, that that is. Govern governments of the, particularly in India, governments of the country, they they never wanted uh, everything to be given to the people in the e-governance style, because when you do e-governance, the powers that is losing the powers to do so, and therefore you can curtail the corruption, so you can do the greasing of the palms, etc. You you can you can do away with the greasing of the greasing greasing of the palms, etc. But today, now what's happening? Money is made available to the account of the people. Okay, you have you have. Uh, your 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 Aadhaar number okay close to about uh, close to about hundred crore people have the numbers that, so the the bank details are available money can be sent okay I can seek a sanction say for example today I want to take a pass from the collector I can apply online he can give me the pass so you now all those things and just look at it now, earlier you used to say that if you want to go it should be signed by uh, a gazetted officer or a civil servant or anything today you are told. You create your own Satyavang Moolam affidavit and write it that you're going traveling. I will trust you and I look at you, I'll ask you to travel during the COVID times. So e-governance will improve. You'll see e governance. You can print out your own granddaughter's birth certificates. You can you can get those details. All this can be done. Ele electronic sanctions can be given as well as electronic uh, payments can be made. So e-governance also will thrive. Uh, that is going to be another new normal. I have the last uh, one which I'm showing that is called uh, RTI on buying. This is something again. Uh, I picked it up uh, from uh, Mr. Uh, 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 yesterday's conference where uh, uh, Mr. Harish Bajura had said. He said that actually, from now onwards, when we really want to buy something, we'll want to know whether it is made in hygienic situation circumstances. The plant is run better. It doesn't have any. Uh, it doesn't have any microbes and it doesn't have any viri. And you will like to know where is the source that it come from. You like to know how is the packaging done. You like to see that it is completely uh, uh, bacterialless and completely virusless. And the, the thing inside that the food property inside that is actually edible and it doesn't create any problem. So a lot of right to information will come when you do your buying, which has not been the case earlier. We'll just go pick it up and say this brand and that brand. We'll say, but today the situation has changed. And he was telling some other situation where even if the domestic air travels will start. They may still want a social distancing to happen, so the central, the middle seat maybe may not be allowed uh, for people to be occupied, so that you know the distance can be kept uh, one meter between people. So all these restrictions will come, and these restrictions for some time will be the new normal. In some of the cases, you will go back apart. In some of the cases, you it may continue. So I had actually shown you about 15, 16 different, different, different new normals. Why I have shown you this new normal is because. See what is entrepreneurship? What is what is a businessman? Sir? What is it that a businessman do? What a businessman do is he looks at the opportunity. An entrepreneur, a businessman looks up at opportunity, and he will see whether I can monetize this opportunity. I can encash upon this opportunity. Can I avail this opportunity? An opportunity can be actually a solution of a problem, or filling up of a gap, following a trend, 
or 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 creating uh, creating something which is which, which relieves the pain of the consumer etc okay so when you do that you are actually what you're doing you're, you're creating a product or a solution or a or a service which uh, gives you an option to monetize because there are people who can buy that now in these in these new normals do you see opportunities is what i'm i'm, I'm trying to ask you at one end we have the challenges related to the sme businesses at another end i have told you if it is a tough business and if you go back and you just will not be able to work would you want to close it or would you want to start or would you, would you want to run i had asked you this question i also had said okay to what is the extent of efficiencies improvement that you can do during or, or design and practice uh, or insights can be drawn during this uh, uh, covid time that i can you can improve your improve upon your businesses okay or you can create a new model and do it etc etc i was discussing so for a businessman for a businessman these are all opportunities some of them may continue being the same those normals some of them may go back but even then it will give you a window of a year or 18 months for you to actually practice upon okay now this is something that you have to see so related to that i was actually i was talking to someone so there was this guy who was actually a, a 10 to 15 member software company developing company on the on the typical s factor of the sme so what he did, he had been told by a client telling that, look boss, keep our uh, development order. He was actually creating websites and he was creating those level of uh, uh, the, the, the customer's, uh, customer's uh, 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 input on, on the web. That's what he was doing, developing that. So he was called up on, by the customer and told that uh, you stop doing this and we'll come back to you because we don't have the money and we don't know where we are going. So he was looking up and seeing what can he do? He said, okay, sitting, working at home or remote working, etc. So he looked upon an opportunity because you can't send your, no salesman go to the field, no marketing can happen. So can he do digital marketing? So he had that efficiency within him to do the digital marketing. So he had told his clients, sir, I have this free time, so I can do digital marketing for you. I can do SEO, I can do SMO, I can, I can do paid program, unpaid program. I can work in the social media, etc. And then I can see that this is done. So that you get lead, and based on the lead you get, you can pay me, or based on or based on a retainer fee that you can pay me. So he was ensuring cash flow to his case, whereas the customer also liked saying that okay, I am in COVID times, so if I can get a lead or if I can get an inquiry, etc., this is good. So here is a case where uh, he had shifted from his software development, which he was asked to stop, but he has continued his business by doing digital marketing. I have a, I have actually a mentee organization which is actually uh, 20, they are in the 20 years in the field of out of home uh, advertisement and infrastructure. And they said, okay, why not we use this opportunity to create a, a, a portal, a business, a, a, a meeting place or a, a, a aggreg aggregatory business, okay, marketplace where I can bring both the supply side and the, both the supply side as well as the demand side together so that everything that we have been otherwise doing in the brick and mortar way, physical way, how can I, how can I not bring them together in a portal? An excellent uh, proposition because in times to come, okay, if such a facility is given and if it is user friendly and if, it, if I can, I can manage my payments better, if I can get my payments better, if I can manage my cash flows through these means, why not? And that is how e-commerce are working. So he has actually gone into that. I have another one, you know, person who said, okay, I'm having free time. I'm having, I'm getting Zoom 40 minutes free every time. So I'm using 40 minutes slot to do music teaching. I'm, I'm doing 40 minutes not to do otherwise tuition, mathematical, mathematics, maths as tuition, etc. So they are conducting or skill development, etc. They can do. So there are many ways by which this COVID time we can utilize to do business as well as look upon the post COVID businesses for, we can, for which you can actually prepare. Now, what are things that you can do during this time? Okay. You can, you can actually take your customer, customer category decision can be done as I have told in the beginning. You can you can try to look at the processes of your each processes of your uh, of your of your business and try and try to bring in process efficiencies try to remove the wastage and see that okay you can make a very intact okay process which will work better okay you can look in terms of, you can look at in terms of giving the product innovations better innovations on the product okay by trying to identify the pain areas of customer incorporate that the product or services okay you can. You can manage your relationship with the customer. You can talk to them. You can call them up. You can find them. What is it that they would like to do? And based on the idea that you receive from them, you can actually you, you can be in touch with the customer. So that as we come back to the business normal, these customers will not desert you and go away. Okay. So 
another thing is you can learn something there are there are many softwares you know in fact i would like to speak about something called s l e s for singapore l for london and e for england okay now if you really look at it if you really look at it, many people in fact uh, one of my friends in uh, my thai group had said no no some of those uh, some of those skills cannot be taught some of those skills can only be physically taught some of those skills can be taught but i was looking at it i think any skills can be any skill can be taught uh, through online you know today if you go to youtube how to repair a computer how to change an ssd how to remove a hard disk how to format a hard disk everything is available there and they are showing with with what is happening so this is where i am saying see normally information and knowledge or in, or arrive or information your data information knowledge is sent through six medias and what are all the six medias the media is the text it is graphics it is images it is animation it is audio and it is video so any input data any input any information okay including knowledge are normally transferred through six medias once again i'll say it is text it is graphics it is images it is animations it is audio and it is video so there is six media only only this there are no other no media other than this okay this six media now for somebody to receive an information somebody to receive the knowledge okay there are five indriyas okay you have your eye your ear you have your mouth you have your tongue sorry your tongue your skin it's and 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 your nose okay so five indriyas this indriyas decipher the information that comes to you now six media data comes to you information comes to you three six medias and you retain this information you receive this information the five indriyas so it is a permutation combination between them now knowledge for you to actually comprehend the knowledge and retain the knowledge if you are using higher levels of larger levels or number of media is more the, the the comprehension and retention will be better in my time i learned through a text there was not even graphics okay so everything was learned through text then graphics came okay then images came photographs and images came okay then audio came audio of course always so the teacher was using the audio to do but video was not there and then there after animation so what is now happening is that these media had converged and that is actually what we called as multimedia so communication today using your own your own uh, smartphone you can communicate any of this media and send this information okay now so it the, at the other end using your indriyas you receive this information and you become and and and, and you internalize the data or knowledge or or, or input that is sent to you so what is happening my dear friends is that learning here has become now easier okay so all of us can actually learn in a mode or a method called sle i said that self learning environment earlier this self learning environment because only there was a text and there was only audio or self learning environment is limited today with all the multimedia converging and using which information is transferred to you and you are receiving it through indriyas you are able to comprehensively retain this information so sle that is self learning environment is on the increase so most of this you can actually learn yourself okay you know, i was uh, i was told by somebody recently that sir i spent about six i, I spent about two weeks uh, exhaustively on this i have learned r programming r r is a language r programming myself otherwise r is related to sps scientific statistical package okay uh, r program he had been able to learn so many people are now able to learn programming learn languages learn technology learn blockchain learn uh, ml machine learning learn uh, artificial intelligence and learn data analytics etc by sitting in the confines of his bedroom but so bedroom and living room and using this means he is learning that so today pre covid time or, or sorry not pre this covid time not pre i'm sorry this covid time should be your time to learn so don't don't have any 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 compromise on that you can learn a language you can learn a technology you can learn a method you can learn a system you can you can you, you can learn a process okay and sitting at home itself using all this you can create this as well so what i suggest is okay learn something new very important to your business then if you are in business and if you are a decision maker you also can do a lot of number crunching data okay a lot of data must be available the invoice data the print data the customer data the the prop the price data the cost data lots of data is now going to be available to you 
if you have those tools available data analytical tools available to you using and which you can learn yourself that's what i'm saying learn yourself sitting at home or with the help of an expert friend outside you can do this analysis yourself when you do this analysis yourself you're actually learning the insights of your business my dear friends okay so that equips you to actually deal with the post covid times later so so if you really so what i have been trying to communicate to you is that you can do a lot of things inside including learning something new using which you can actually get a lot of insight and you can go so you can work you can work wherever possible you can get the insights collected and even using the multimedia you can learn things by yourself so this is another thing that you must know so all this put together all this put together we need to really understand that okay uh, for businessmen for sme guys for, for for business even business executives this time can be productively spent by learning by understanding by knowing okay and by creating by imagining by imagining okay now, see i think you know just today morning i received a, 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 a whatsapp this thing see the, the best thing that it was attributed to einstein i believe is the the, the the best ability is the ability to imagine and anything we had imagined we had created so it is you are restricted only by your imagination you can begin imagine and for imagination you need to have exposure experience knowledge data all these things you can give time and you can learn and you can learn in a very structured manner during this time so that is what i would like to speak to you about uh, this covid time to prepare yourself for the post covid period now what i would like to do i will request uh, nirmal my friend to come come alive uh, and uh, see that you know we have uh, about about five questions uh, i think we had come i do not know whether there is any chat uh, that has been uh, where something some important thing in the chat that we can discuss that also i can i i would request normal to have a look at it and uh, guide me accordingly so that i can answer or i can join the deliberations with uh, the people who are in the in the webinar please so participants you can post your questions in the q and a section uh, there's a q and a option in the bottom of the zoom screen so if you have any questions uh, instead of putting it on the chat uh, screen uh, kindly post it on the q and a section so we have few questions in the q and a section uh, around four maybe yeah. you can answer them one by one uh. let me see yeah this is a q and a let's see yeah there are this about five that's for at least okay uh, yeah right Uh, it is first uh, S R Nair. Okay, or or actually that's okay. Anil Balan, Anil Balan had asked, "What is your advice to startups who are on the verge of raising funds but have been hit badly by the lockdown? Extending runway, managing extending runway, managing cash flow, cash is king. Look at pivoting, etc. is being advised. But honestly, when the startup is in ICU, the the next step is getting into ventilator." leading to death what needs to be done to keep a stand up stand start up alive now very tough question my dear friend anil balan but you had asked the actually you had really hit the nail by asking this question okay so this is what i also started by saying anil balan i said everybody had come and said cash is king preserve cash so the sme is asking or the startup is asking cash what cash where so we are all depleted of that because as it is we have been living up frugally with what our cash that we have received either in the form of grant or in the form of uh, startup uh, sorry uh, the startup fund or or anything of that sort so money is typically not there and in your case you also had asked a question whether the question that has been asked is you know you have been like advised startup the verge of raising funds but have been hit badly that is a situation on the verge of raising funds i see it is like this my friend if you are talking to people if somebody had decided to fund you okay for job raising fund they had decided to fund you i see no reason i see no reason he, he, for him to refrain from giving you the fund because he had looked at your solution he had looked at looked at his scalability he had looked at the success probabilities of the solution and if somebody had decided to give you fund i don't see any reason that he should not he should give you the fund but if you are preparing yourself like you know making your uh, making your uh, what do you call uh, 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 pre pre preparing by having your valuations etc made so that you can valuations are being done so that 
you, you are getting ready to be seeking funds, yes, then you have a challenge because many of them will say, okay, let us see whether these people survive or not. You have my empathies because it is not a situation that I envy. But I would, I would, I would suggest. See, this is I, I have a, I have a, I have a, a suggestion here. This is a, in in theory, it is called effectual entrepreneurship. Effectual. So therefore, what is other entrepreneurship? It is called causal, cost oriented. A causal or entrepreneurship or a cost oriented entrepreneurship. You make a plan. You make the you make the funds available and you go and execute it. In an effectual entrepreneurship, an entrepreneur starts or a startup guy starts with his competencies, experiences, and his his traction with the market or people. And as he goes up, he comes comes across people, he comes across situations, and he comes across requirements from people based on which you prepare and give it to them. Okay, so if you are at that position, it is time. It is time that you can call up your ecosystem people saying that this is a solution that I have. This solution can help you in these, these, these ways and these are ways of doing it. And if you can, maybe it's a crowdfunding that he does or maybe it is, maybe he is helping you by giving you some advance of developing that solution for him, etc. And if he can help you by going, go, giving you funds in, in a manner that is giving you to, for you to survive, that would be good. It may be another five to six days, of course, about uh, five to six months that you know we come alive better if, if the con COVID is uh, uh, conquered by then. Otherwise, uh, it will be still longer. But you can actually look at things on an effectual entrepreneurial way where you get connected to people, tell them I have the solution. So you give me, you 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 encourage me by giving me some funds and advance to do that. I will do that. Then I go from A to B to C to do that and the, the let, get the ecosystem to help you. But if you if you are not having any possibility. Uh, whether nobody is to fund you and no, whether you have not been able to, nobody had committed to fund you, etc. Then it may be a situation where, it may be a situation where you, you will find the uh, going very tough. In this case, you can talk to your fellow entrepreneurs and startup guys whether, and see that whether you can combine your, combine your uh, startups together to see that you can make it a sort of a survivable, survivable means. Okay, I'm, I'm repeating it again. If you find that there is no other means for you to go, but you, have, you feel that you have a good solution coming up, okay, you're developing that. And if you can look around and see there are like-minded people who can combine your strengths and collaboratively, and somebody may chip in money, somebody may give in manpower, somebody may be giving infrastructure, and you frugally you leave this means to see that you combinedly, collaboratively will develop that by one, two, three, four coming together, that could be a way to go forward, Anil Bala. I go to the next question, which he says, Mohammed Fawaz asked, Dear host, will this session be posted on YouTube, Facebook later this session? I think, uh, Nirmal, will you answer this, please? Yeah, we have got the recordings. It will be posted on uh, YouTube. Uh, we don't post things on Facebook as such. We have a YouTube channel. We'll post it there. Thank you, Nirmal. Thank you for answering that question. Oh, I have another guy, Mugambo, Mugambo Khushwa. Who is this Mugambo? What will be the geopolitical shift geopolitical shift post covid will manufacturing move out of china does india stand a good chance to take advantage and any opportunities for kerala which has labor restrictions my my goodness this is a true mugambo who had asked me this question okay mr mugambo the, the answer to this is uh, quite circuitous because there are no there are no one one right correct answer but if you know across the world there is a lot of there is a lot of anti china feeling today not only because things happened in wuhan but also there are many things coming out stating that even the side the contract the 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 the, the uh, gat contracts or the trade contract they signed with america they have, they have incorporated uh, covid equal and the uh, act of god etc so many things are actually pointing to china saying that this is an act by them i am not sure okay and many people in my group also are telling that it is not true. Many people in my group are telling that it is true. It is actually an act of terrorism. So, but all said and done, there is a lot of anti-Chinese feeling. And we read here, there, postings, newspapers, etc. Countries, Japan, America, and many other countries in Europe, etc. Do not want to do anything with China any longer. We also hear about our Prime Minister very tactfully deciding not to do much with, uh, much with China and trying to, trying to use his time to basically give a lot of Philip to our Make in India or Assemble in India level of programs. 
uh, yes, possibility do exist. You know why? You know, one simple reason that I look at it is this. Among many countries in the world, India has the maximum number of engineers, technical manpower. This today, we always called it as a demographic dividend. That is because we said that about our own. Uh, that is what we said about uh, demographic dividend was for our publish. But here, from a perspective of the demographic, demographic dividend of engineering, so people, people who had studied engineering, diploma engineering and degree engineering and postgraduate engineering, the country has lots of engineers. And I think this would be a beautiful, beautiful option for us to, for us to bring them together. For, for, us to, for, us to, for us to leverage upon their strength and competencies or training and competencies to see that we can actually turn into a manufacturing, manufacturing country. I definitely do see. But I want, to, I want to suggest, see, manufacturing doesn't mean that you manufacture and therefore you qualify to be a manufacturing country. You qualify to become a manufacturing country when you are able to manufacture those machineries that is used to manufacture. So for example, just give an example. Manufacturing footwear. So footwear manufacturing, anybody can do because you can actually import those footwear manufacturing machineries and do it. But if you can, if India has to qualify being a footwear manufacturer, finally the Indians or the companies or, or we should have the competency to manufacture the machineries that manufacture the footwear also. That is the key. So the key is not final and product manufacturing, but manufacturing those machineries that do the manufacturing. I think that is where we need to really concentrate a lot upon. There's a, there's a lot of patent regime across. We need to overcome that. We may have to really get into a lot of research and development. We have to look at a lot of indigenization, including our Jugad engineering, etc. That comes very handy. Now, the last part of your question as to what will happen to Kerala. Okay. I think, you know, intellectual level of work. Kerala at one point of time in 70s and 80s was real electronic manufacturing state in the country through Keltron and things like that. We used to even manufacture lower end components like resistors and capacitors, etc. here. But from there, we have come to become a complete nobody as far as electronic manufacturing is concerned or manufacturing is, or not only electronic, or manufacturing is concerned. Kerala is not very, very fit, fit enough to do heavy chemical, huge industries. I think I don't see any chance. But Kerala has the, the chance to do design. Okay, Kerala has a chance to do that level of manufacturing, particularly electronics, electrical, etc., which has the provided we create uh, our ease of doing business. Ease of doing business, even today in Kerala, is a lip service. It has not been effectively implemented. I have friends in KSRDC who may actually find uh, this uh, very unacceptable because they have really worked hard to see that. Uh, uh, Kerala has been made a uh, uh, ease of ease of sorry ease of doing business. Things must have improved, but even today, from a perspective of trade unionism and from from a perspective of political uh, background, I am not sure whether it is still uh, a, a conducive place for doing those levels. I hope our authorities and politicians will understand this opportunity and take this take this take this gold to so God given opportunity as a golden opportunity for them to actually initiate uh, actions in manufacturing but not all manufacturing mr mogambo i hope mogambo khush hua hoga okay now coming to em najib my goodness em najib <laughs> this is like uh, the grandfather asking the question to the child okay how long will it Will it take tourism business to be normalized as per your assessment in this scenario? Thanks. Najib, how can I answer this question? You know everything and you're your la boss. You know, you understand everything, you keep yourself quite abreast of all developments. As a as a lay person with absolutely no idea on uh, tourism, all I can say is that if the tourism has to develop, the travel has to develop. If the travel has to develop, Social distancing has to be taken care of and, and, and the COVID has to be controlled. So it is as much as your guess as mine as to how long it may take the tourism to be developed. Maybe once we, the country as a whole, if it is able to contain the COVID challenges better, you can look at domestic tourism to the extent that is possible and probably take it as a start to go about with. But if you, if you want to give me a date and number, Mr. Najib, sorry, you know the you know the answers. In fact, I think you should offer, you should use the chat mode here to tell what is your feeling about this. Thank you very much. But I'm so privileged that you had asked a question to me, Mr. Najib. Okay, Adash J, thank you, sir. Wonderful session. What is the new normals you anticipate for brand building and marketing? Oh, lovely. 
what is the new normals that you that you that you anticipate for brand building and marketing okay yeah here yeah. now brand building essentially essentially has been an art of you know creating the reputation for the brand and the company and the product etc uh, predominantly you know we have we have all these very wise persons and agencies who are actually en engaged in that but if we uh, where is it other one second others i have i think uh, yeah others thank you wonderful session what is the new normals you anticipate for brand building and marketing so i think uh, marketing will go the digital way market it is time that marketing goes the digital way it is also time the marketing went below the line marketing above the line which is going to be tough and today the newspaper that is available so the newspapers you know which pay very costly advertisement coming in and the reading time between 7:30 and 9 and the tv that it comes and go only people who can afford to do the the high level of uh, marketing blitz creek can actually afford to do that so i think marketing will go below the line marketing will go marketing will go uh, digital one more thing i think this is where content 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 writing content management and content uh, content management online etc come very very effective okay so i think uh, i would rather look at a scenario others this time i think please spend your time online seeing how organizations are pushing the product what are all the means that they are using how they are actually maintaining relationship you know things like linkedin facebook insta all these places you should actually start looking at all those things with a critical analysis critical angle to see is there a learning and do that learning to use it in your digital practices that's what time being i can say about it adarsh next one comes from apsir majid apsir majid is asking this question what is the logic uh, what is the logic of advising to shut the business rather ask me revive and continue after i'm so sorry actually i just said it because the it is very difficult to uh, make a dead uh, practically dead host to get up and jump and go it all depends upon your understanding of say to see whether your business is revivable whether you can revive the business both competency and you resources wise but if it is there i would never say you that you shut down the business but if you see that there is no cash see look at this it is like this are you doing business for the bank are you doing business for the government to pay tax are you doing business for the employees to be paid uh, employee to be paid salary are you being are you doing business for vendors to be paid are you doing business for all these things and at the end of the day are you making money if you are not able to make money and also if you see that your your loans are going up your debts are going up your liabilities are going up your stocks are getting obsolete etc then it is time that you start looking at it and see that how i can revive the situation and if you see that see boss money may come but, but there's a, there's a cost to money why is it that everybody is telling you to preserve the money because at the at the at the, at the first place money may not even come okay so if the money may not come from the bank or money may not come from outside for the peace or angels or uh, or uh, venture capitalist what will you do so it's a question i never said that you close down the business i said i am saying that you look at your business you see is it a dead horse if it is not a dead horse please do revive and get back to get the back to normal but if you see that it is not possible then it is time to take a call my dear friend okay i am sorry for saying this but don't please be feel bad i am only telling you a reality anil kumar had asked hi nair sir what are the strategies which we need to adopt to reduce the cost of the product as pass to the value engineering okay there is something like fixed cost and the variable cost variable cost you can understand now i understand in the fixed cost itself can be converted into fixed and variable and when you make that variable there is a cost reduction possible in that okay i will that is to adopt reduce the cost reduce the cost of the product by value engineering so fixed cost and variable cost variable cost you can actually bring down you know that your your overhead variable cost etc see the salary that you pay you can reduce the number of people maybe you can make your team much lean and mean lots of variable cost can be done the fixed cost itself can be still be converted to fixed and variable there is a variable element of the fixed cost okay you just look at this let's say uh, it is like this saying that you know i take uh, i i i take uh, i take uh, six man months to write this software just to give an example you may not be a software guy i'm sorry i i take six man months to Uh, uh, make this software, okay, or to develop this software. 
But if I'm able to, and that is a fixed part of it, rest of it, you know, salary, etc., etc., is another thing. But if you see that in this fixed, this thing, can I make it in four months? So there is a variable element of fixed also. Just see whether, whether, whether such a possibility do exist. If that possibility do exist, probably we can actually adopt that. Thank you. Nitin Gupta, what should we do for our labor force and staff? What should we do for our labor force and staff as it looks as it looks long time to restart the business? What do I answer, Gupta ji? It is a very, very tough proposition. All I can say to you, if you have the compassion and if you have the means, do help them. I cannot give you any other answers. Okay. Because lately, I'm also seeing a lot of posts and a lot of communication coming saying that paying salary after this thing is a must or not a must. You don't, you don't need to pay. You can do this. All that is there. But if you see that when you revive, you need all these people back. And if you want these people to be back with you, then you need to take care of them. Please see if you have the means to take care of them. Okay. Howsoever small way. Okay. You communicate to them properly and see that if you can take care of them. If you have the means and resources and the dil, the heart to take care, please do take care. Lest we'll see, dekha jayega, we'll cross the bridge as it come by. Okay. Manoj Kulkarni, how to work when the how to work when we how to work where in business depend how to work where in business depends upon working at customers' location and extensive traveling required. Sab thoda no, you have to Kulkarni sab. I think this is where you have to really see that you know the new no, the new normals can be used. No, whether you don't have to travel or if your presence at the location is required and if you cannot reach down the location, challenge. But if you can do something where your you sitting itself, you can make your presence felt and get this done. Say for example, you are a designer, you are sitting in here, you have some two engineers at the location already or you have the, loca the, the, the client may have some engineers at the location already. So you can interact with them and see that using the resources available there, even if they may not be very experienced, you can train them to teach them to see that this is that possible. That's called collaborative. But Hello. Hello. Uh, sir, you got disconnected, I believe, in between. Where, where did I get disconnected? When you are answering Mr. Kulkarni's question, I think. Okay. Okay. So, what do I do? Do I come back or am I, am I, am I on now? Am I on? Yeah, yeah. It's on now. It's it's okay. uh, Kulkarni's question. Mein... Achha, right. Sorry. So, the uh, Kulkarni. All right. Okay. That is where I got. Uh, that is the last question. Hari Krishna, can I, uh, you have, we have time? Do we have time? So we'll take two more questions. A uh, couple of them are on funding for startups. So maybe you can share your thoughts on that okay. uh, pre-COVID period. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do that. Uh, oh, thank you, Mr. Ajib Sab. Thank you, sir. Well answered and right assessment. I good. My goodness. Okay, let me come to Hari Krishnan. Will the investors, VCs, angels, and PEs will still have preference for technology based on startup as well as as all we know, tech-based product service is considered as a prerequisite for scaling as a no. As in pre-COVID times, post-COVID, how do you see this trend going to be? Okay. How easy, tough it will be to attract startup funding in post-COVID times? And what are the areas you see it could be successful? Post-COVID times would be as good as pre-COVID times as far as startup is concerned. The, I, I'm sure any government of the any government, whether it is local self or sorry, whether it is uh, state or central, I'm sure uh, Hari, uh, lots of input will be, lots of focus will be there from them, will be there from them to see that uh, startups are encouraged. Startup is going to be our our race and death. You will see that, particularly in technology startups. You know, so I'm sure governments will give equal focus. Both state and central governments will give equal focus as they have been giving in the pre-COVID times. Now, this question, Hare Krishna asked a second, uh, technology startups, you know, like uh, startups who are in technology startup, whether they will still be seen by angels and PCs? Definitely yes, particularly when these products and technologies can definitely be helpful today. In fact, uh, our uh, past uh, chairperson, Rajesh, said that, I think it was Rajesh, I'm not sure, saying that, okay, if anybody who, is, who can actually have solutions for video conferencing, etc., they can contact government for uh, getting funds or getting sanctions. Et so all this is happening. So I think technology, as much as we can use technology for 
mitigating the problems of the COVID people or even post COVID times. Technology, so there is not going to be any, any specific uh, say that technology stopped there. Now we are not going to be considered. Technology will be considered at the same time. There could be areas in agriculture, there could be areas in distribution, there could be areas in those areas as well. There could be new focus, particularly on manufacturing, as you say, assembling, manufacturing, and that too in electrical, electronics, etc. I am sure focus can go up very high on that. Uh, I'm taking the I'm taking the last question here, uh, uh, Nirmal. It is about 1533. Uh, Ajit John asked, "Is survival of the fittest the new normal?" It is not a new normal, my dear friend Ajit. Survival of fittest is always the normal. Okay, there is no change to that, and you had seen that. Okay, the fittest do survive, and this is a fundamental thing, and this, there is no change to that. For sure, we need to have innovation and disruption line, uh, in the line of new norms you suggested, uh, which is uh, kind of, which is kind of entirely digital. Oh, acha. he said that. Okay, sir, I did not use only digital. I was telling about de delivery. Delivery is not digital. Suppose somebody comes. In fact, I stay in a, in a small gated place where somebody came and told us that I can get all your thing delivered. And he's doing brisk business with about 15 houses inside. So de delivery, uh, etc. courier, express delivery, all this are good. And that is going to be increased further. So I'm, I'm not saying that I only depend upon digital. There could be brick and mortar businesses also, which could definitely use this, use this innovation and disruption. Okay, going further down, what is the last, Najib and uh, Shailesh. Oh, Shailesh, my neighbor also asked. I don't know, what is the question? Let me just, okay. What is it, sir? Specifically looking situations at the state of Kerala, we are going to see a very severe financial crisis. I'm in, the state I'm in the state government. How do you see the impact that in short, medium and long term? We see KSRTC not paid salary, a reality. But till time the government servants has had, the, uh, till, ti till time the government servants had that luxury. But tomorrow, who knows? Yes, Shailesh, tomorrow, who knows? One thing is clear, my friends. Actually, a lot of people are saying that this will survive, that will survive, he's taking money, that guy is in problem, etc., etc. See, we are in, we, we must understand this. There's a reality that we are in COVID time. Businesses has crashed. Okay. Disease is still not under control across, across the world. Okay. It is not only you're suffering. I am suffering. Everybody is suffering. We do not know how many businesses will go back to the business. We do not know how many business, new businesses will come up. Okay. So what do you do in, 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 in you know, when, when we were children, when we were children, when we had, when we started a game, and then we had a challenge or a quarrel. Uh, we will say in Malayalam, I'm using this word, Aichanguichan onnen. That's what we say. We have we have nothing to do. Okay, but there is a there is a quarrel, there is a fight. We can't solve that. So what do they do? They come back to her and say, okay, Aichanguichan onnen. I think we are going to be on that situation. We are going to start the rebuilding from all over again. It is typically not the rebuilding that we had seen in in in, in post the flood situation because. The economy was generally being managed. Only this was affected. Some part was being affected. This is everybody is affected across the world. The planet is affected. Okay. Rich nations are affected. I'm not very sure about China, but even they are affected. So when everybody is affected, the answer is that we all have to start from the ground zero. So there is not a question where who is rich and who is not, where which, which state is funded and which state is not. It is a question of us prudently utilizing the resources and using our imagination, using our creativity, okay, using those possibilities like the new normals, etc., using those opportunities, availing those opportunities, monetizing those opportunities, creating wealth on those opportunities, and distributing wealth on that opportunities. Aichan, Kuichan, Ondena. We are going to start all over again. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Nirmal. You can wind up. Thank you, SR. Thank you for that engrossing and very interesting session. I'm sure there's a lot of takeaway for the participants. Incidentally, we had close to 105 people joining at one point of time. So one of the advantages of these uh, virtual sessions is that people are joining from across India. We have people from uh, you know, places like Surat. We had one particular session where we had international uh, participants also from Germany and elsewhere also. Uh, so I'm sure uh, most of them are benefiting out of these uh, virtual sessions. Uh, thank you again for you know spending time, especially a post lunch session. Uh, uh, thank you again uh, for attending. I mean, uh, during this session. Uh, 
participants uh, if you have any further questions you can send that uh, across to our secretariat team you will very soon get a mail with the link to the youtube uh, you know of this recording uh, i'm sure you'll uh, you know take a visit and uh, you know, get back to us uh, we have a very interesting lineup of uh, uh, sessions during the week we have a uh, uh, one lined up tomorrow the details of which will be shared with you very soon because uh, one we were you know we had just planned and uh, announced this very uh, recently so we have the uh, principal secretary it mr shivshankaran who has just confirmed that he would uh, want to interact with the thai membership tomorrow uh, we'll send you the details and please uh, try to join uh, for this evening session too uh, uh, once again thank you uh, thank you thai members non members as well as people from other chapters for joining this session i hope it uh, it has been a great evening for you thank you guys enjoy talking to you uh, uh, if any further input is required please come through thai kerala i can answer back uh, all the best to you i hope uh, all of us will do the business and none of us will close down the business even though i said so thank you bye thank you sir thank you thank you everyone